I think there's a time in life that we need to fuck the politics. We need to sit there and realize what a great leader is. A leader is not someone that gets you to follow them. A leader is someone that motivates you to follow your own dreams. That's what we want you to do. The last thing I'll say on that is so many times you meet people all over the world and it's quick to judge, people always judge and I hated that. I realized people judge me so quickly. But when you talk to them and they get comfortable, they say, you know, I always wanted to do this. And it, they don't they don't to bring it out, out unless they get comfortable. And you're like, yeah, what are you doing about it? Yep. Man, it's hard though. Nope. You gotta do this and that and I'm, so you're doing that? What are you doing? Do it. It's hard. And so I say, so you don't want to do it. No, 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 I want to do it. do it. I said, well then, what are you doing? What's your plan? What's your oh, it's going to take so long, this and that. You know what, what my dad told me, that clock's going to tick, yeah. whether you do something now. It's going to be five years if it takes, five years is going to happen. You need to do it now, you need to take yeah. a moment, think about what you're doing, why you're doing it, because Lord knows we shouldn't be here right now. So this is not about me, this is about believing in yourself, standing up for yourself, realizing that when someone puts you down for whatever reason, prove those motherfuckers wrong. So I gotta thank my family. I love you, my So I gotta catch my closure. <laughs> and thank all of you for coming here tonight. I gotta thank Robert here. Yeah. Yeah. Because this, the thought of a big ass, big head up there is pretty scary for me. And I saw it, I said, man, that looks pretty good, actually. Yeah. And Jose right here, for the first time that he talked to me, I said, dude, that's political suicide. <laughs> he said, I ain't worried about it. Got to do what it is. So the last thing I'll say, a little story from the last tour we were on. I used to always have problems with the police. They didn't like me. We all know that. But on the last tour, something happened that really stuck out. One by one, we'd go to places off duty or on duty. Bunch of them came up and said, Mike, come here. They pulled up their sleeve and they showed a suicidal tattoo. And the thing that I thought and the reason why I'm bringing this up is, I was like, whoa, kind of surprised me and stuff. And they would always be with a couple people that maybe were not quite as happy to see me as they were. Fuck them! But the thing, the thing that they said is because of the exposure through those people, they said, you know what? You changed my view. Yeah. And the people that had the tattoos, I always ask them, I said, tell me your story. And the one thing that they all said was that when they were young, the police were not someone that they, were, they, were, that they respected. They didn't respect them. There was problems. And they said, you know what? You can hate the police. They go, I wanted to become a police and make a difference. So I want to say, instead of bringing the hate and taking it to another level, when you see something's wrong, don't be part of the problem. Try to change the problem. Change things in there. Get involved with things that are wrong. You can burn shit. It doesn't do fuck. You can yell and scream. It doesn't do fuck. But I guarantee you, when you have a great idea that makes sense and people see it, they're going to want to be a part of it. We need thoughts, actions. We need to put a whole nother different course than just try to wear a little fucking plaid that says, don't do this, this sucks, this and that. Use your energy smart. There's so much power here that people don't want you to believe. It actually scares them. It scared them when they saw suicidal and all the different nationalities getting together. That scares them. You need to get united not to give other people power, but to give everybody a power to have their voice, to use their voice, realizing what they're saying, why they're saying, make sure it's a damn good reason. We can take over the world. It's not Democrats, it's not Republicans. It's people with good hearts. That's who we need to stand up. Be smarter, be better. Don't let the hate turn it up. Suicidal. Straight from the heart. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much, Mike. That's straight from the heart for the suicidal family. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're gonna do the unveiling. Before I do that, I want to give uh, give it up here to the band who's with Mike today to celebrate this very special day. Deep Pleasant, the guitar! Yeah. Jeff Hogan, rhythm guitar! Yeah. And you know him, Dave Lombardo from USA! Yeah. Dave! 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 He's next! He's next! 
in the work. And we are trying to run the ass, bangs! Hey, how do you do that, brother? I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Thanks so much. How are we going to do this? How are we going to unveil this? What do we'll we do? It this way. Okay. One thing I forgot to tell you, very important. The title of the, of the mural is called, appropriately, Can't Stop. Yeah. Can't Stop Mike, Can't Stop Us, Can't Stop LA. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do a countdown. Three, two, one. Yeah. And the only one that can stop you is yourselves. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You, bring me down. you guys ready up there, Kevin? You ready up there? Okay, guys, we're all gonna count together. Three, two, one, okay? Ready? Three, two, two one! one. <laughs> Suicidal! Suicidal! <laughs> Selfie. 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 Selfie.